volatility continues on Wall Street amid, amid this coronavirus outbreak. Here's a look now at the numbers. The Dow once again in decline uh, today. Kind of weird to see the Dow below 20,000 points. Uh, today at different points. The downward trend in recent weeks has prompted the Trump administration to ask for a trillion dollars to pump back into the economy. Here is the Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. You can think of this as business interruption money. The president is determined we will put money back into this economy to protect hardworking Americans and small business. Now to weigh in on this, financial analyst and president of Wilsey Financial Assets, Brent Wilsey. Great to see you, Brent. Thank you. Uh, so a trillion dollars, not necessarily enough to get the market super excited uh, to get back into positive territory today. Um, is, there, is there any amount of money that the Treasury Secretary could put on the table that's going to calm the markets? Uh, actually, I have to say no, because this is something we have to get through. And, and actually, the market did react positively yesterday when that news came out. Today, it's like, okay, what else do you have for right. us? And, and I'm glad to see the president every morning talking about what's going on. This is what people need to calm their fears. And with that said, I do believe, even though we're down you know, 1,000 points plus today, I think we're getting to a place to where I'm seeing more uh, trading that's a little more calmer, I guess I'll say. It's not the craziness that we had uh, a few days a week. Less emotional trading, perhaps. I mean, yeah. we have seen the resiliency, and if there's any you know, reason to at least take a deep breath, it's to look at how uh, the situation recovered after the, the crash of 2008. Uh, you hear a lot of reports that the situation is much better now. Banks are in much better shape. Is that your assessment, Brent? I, it really is, because when I, and I'm actually writing a letter to our clients today, and I'm putting that in there, is that 2008, people do not realize how close the country came to bankruptcy. And it was just a very strange feeling. And people always say, oh, but it's different this time, it's worse this time. It's because we're living through it day to day, hour by hour. It's very scary. You forget how it was back in mm -hmm. 2008. And let's not forget 9-11, how scary that was. So we go through these things. We're a great country. We get through this. And and one thing I got to point out as well, one thing that, that I, I, I bothers me a little bit is that we hear, oh, I heard somebody say today in the media, oh, we swelled to 208,000 cases. Let's give the whole story. Let's talk about the 83,000 people that have been recovered. Let's talk about of those cases. We did just hear from those doctors talking about the fact that, uh, you know, people do seem to be recovering from this and they build up the antibodies to not get it again, even though we don't know about all the cases out there. But Brent, the other thing too, I think that's become abundantly clear in this type of situation now, you, you know, you have a Republican administration, you have even Republican senators and signing off on this, but you know, the federal government is there to step in in an, in an instance of a liquidity crisis, which what I think makes this somewhat different than 2008, because there's really not any pretense about what they're going to be doing here. They're just going to pump money into the economy uh, to try and stop the bleeding. And that is true. And what I want to see, too, is that we need to get people back to work. And I know we have this quarantine period. It's going to be a couple of weeks, I believe. It's going to be very difficult through that time frame. But I do believe once we get past that, we start seeing these cases decline because of the quarantine we're doing. Um, you're going to see markets rally. Everybody's going to be happy again. Uh, I, and I think in two to four weeks, it's going to be a whole different picture because we change the trajectory of what we're doing. We're not just saying, oh, everything's fine. No, we're quarantining people. We're washing our right. hands We'll have more. a much better gauge on where this is going, we hope. Yes. And Brent, we'll have you back. How about not two to four weeks? How about three weeks? We'll see you back, or maybe even before then, because we love talking right. with you. Great to see you, as always, and thank you for your time. We do have to run to a commercial break. You heard President Trump at the White House, uh, the Daily Task Force briefing for the coronavirus ongoing. We expect more from the White House. We'll also have an update for you, hopefully, on that vote.